Hi, it's AJ at Heart of the Light Recipes. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you a crispy cheesy pie recipe that uses layers of filo pastry. It's so easy and quick to make, also you can use any type of filling for this pie. So let's get started. We're gonna start by preparing the liquid sauce that we will brush in between layers. For this, firstly I'm gonna whisk an egg. And then add a half a cup of sunflower oil, one cup of milk, one tablespoon of all purpose plain flour, and one teaspoon of baking powder, and mix them well. Now we can start sauteing the onion to add into the cheese filling, which will add a nice taste to it. For this, drizzle a bit of sunflower oil into the saucepan and saute the chopped onion until it softens. Here I have 500 grams of ricotta cheese and I'm going to add the sauteed onion in it. I also add a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of salt because my cheese is not salty, make sure if your cheese needs extra salt or not. A tablespoon of chopped dill. And some black pepper, almost a half a teaspoon. Mix them until they're combined. Now we can start preheating the oven to 180 degrees C, 350 Fahrenheit. I have a package of chilled filo pastry here. I'm going to cut these pastry sheets according to the dish that I'll be using. Simply by putting the dish on the pastry sheets and cutting around the edges. We're going to use the leftover sheets in between the layers. If you use a larger dish that fits the whole pastry sheet, you don't need to cut them, of course. Now let's put them all together. Firstly, brush the liquid sauce that we prepared all over the inside of the dish. Lay one large sheet of pastry and then brush the top of the pastry sheet. Add one more sheet and brush it again. Repeat the same steps for six layers. Now I'm on the sixth layer and I'm not gonna brush this layer, instead I'm gonna add the filling on. It doesn't have to be the sixth layer, but when you put the cheese at the top layers, it sometimes melts and goes to the top of the pie. Putting the cheese filling at the bottom will make sure that it remains contained. Just don't brush the layer that you're gonna add the filling on. Spread the cheese filling evenly. We're gonna add one more large pastry sheet on the top of the filling and we're not going to brush this layer either. Now we can start using the small cut-off pieces to make another layer. And brush the liquid sauce on this layer. Repeat the same steps with brushing in between layers until you use all the small pieces.
After that you can start using the large pastry sheets with brushing in between layers until you use all the pastry sheets. You can pour the leftover liquid sauce all over the pie, the wetter the better. I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of sesame seeds and a bit of black sesame seeds. Now I'm going to bake this for half an hour until it's golden brown. As you can see it's baked very well. We mostly finish it quickly but sometimes I slice and freeze it and enjoy it later. I hope you'll enjoy it too. Consider subscribing to my channel so that you can find out upcoming delightful treats. Cheers!